But we're gonna do um, what I what I did this afternoon. <coughs> Our whole conversation is gonna be on. You all know Wopila is thank you. Yeah. Wopila. Okay, Api is, uh, we're giving. We're giving thanks. And Ampetu is day. Okay? And these are words that come out that's already been out there. We talk language, we talk Lakota, we use these words. And some of our substitute language, we use. And they were made up by elderlies back in the 70s and 80s when they were, were trying to develop curriculums and make new words for, um, for what we have now, things that come out. Like there would be no word for pistachio. <laughs> but if I wanted to, I could say just the same thing as pepper. I would say yahoo guppy. Because it's something that you crunch on, and that's it. <laughs> so that's how our language works. The reason why we have a Lakota name for uh, turkey is because uh, it's a local bird where we don't have a word for like pheasants because that one's from someplace else. So we don't have a word for pheasants, but we do have a, a word for peri chicken that we use for, as the bird too, shio. We use shio. Changed. I did. I did change some of this on the Fried bread, it's funny because like any kind of bread, we call it aghuyapi, aghuyapi, aghuyapi. And then fried bread, all we say is wiggly unkahapi. <laughs> all it is is <laughs> made with grease. Isn't that crazy? Wiggly unkahapi, made with grease. That's all we say. We don't, we don't add the bread on there. It's, I was talking about um, wiggly unka happy, made with grease. That's all it is. <laughs> and everybody uses that out there. Where's the wiggly unka happy? Nobody says, where's the ahoyapi wiggly unka happy? I mean, that's too long. 
And so they just say, wiggle um kahabi. And it's always been used like that, nice towers. Oh, how do we know that? The funny thing about it is that um, our language is um, also um, understood language. Understood language. So if I use wiggly um kahabi, it's it's made in Greece, that's all it is. If I said wiggly ogunake or wiggly, you know, something, I don't know. It all depends on where you're at. If you're cooking and you're making fried bread, you say wiggly unkahapi. I'm making it with grease, that's it. If I was uh, changing an engine or changing oil, then I would use wiggly which is Greece, but I would use it in a different explanation. I'll use different words in it. So, but the people that I'm talking to, if they understood Lakota, they would know what I'm talking about, you know? Because it wouldn't be, um, it wouldn't be um, a descriptive language or substitute language where I have to explain the whole thing piece by piece. Okay? Pumpkin is uh, wagamu. And then a pie is wagamu. Oh, be. Mini. Be. Did you notice that I didn't use the bread again? Opemenipi, all it means is that something's wrapped up in it. It's wrapped up with something. <laughs> so, pumpkin wrapped up. If I put aguiapi un opemenipi, then it would be explaining also the bread crust, the pie crust with it. But, aguiapi opemenipi, or wagamu ori. Wagamu or Aguiapi Opemenipi. If I wanted to, I could say it that way, which is really explained. Wagamu Aguiapi Opemenipi. That's a pie. Pumpkin pie. Stuffing is also made of bread. That one comes up different. It's also a real be we are here, Trumpy. I could mix breadcrumbs with, if I wanted to really get um, aguiapi, if I wanted to really get it explanatory about this word, I could say agu, agu, ya, bi, okpan. Yeah, oak pun, oak, oak pun, which is the breadcrumbs. Aguiapi oak pun. Which are here trumpi? All it, all which are here trumpi means is that it's, it has a lot of mixings in it. You can mix it with green beans and uh, what do you? I make mine with um, turkey, heart. The neck, you boil it and you take all the meat off of it. Uh, you can chop up the, the butt part and slice it all up, dice it up. You can use um, the, what is it, the liver, kidney, something in there. Remember, you can cook it up, chop it all up. You can use onions and you can use all kinds of stuff, whatever you want. But wicha here, trumpi, that's what that means, is that you can mix whatever you want in it. To make it, to make the um, stuffings with the bread, 
Okay? So it's up to you if you want to make um, how you want to make your sentences. But I'm trying to teach you how to make your sentences. And I'm trying to teach you how to um, converse while you're eating. That's what I'm trying to teach you how. It's anything that's green. Anything that's green. This made this word was made up by uh, Dorch Leader Charge and Ali Nopreshini, some of the older women that used to work here. They developed the curriculum in St. Francis and during that time they came up with all these words. So they started using them. Ku ku she tralo. Kukushe tralo. Ham. Kukushe tralo. Okay, here's a long one. Soup. A soup is wa humpy or humpy. Dried beef. Pa pa. That's a hard P. Pa pa. Some will write it ba ba. B A B A. Pa pa. Ba ba. But I'll use pa pa. And this is dried corn is wa wa stunka la wa stunka la. I I don't know where it doesn't have nothing to do with corn, the word because corn in Lakota is wagamiza. But in Lakota, we call it Washtunkala. It's a whole name in itself. Turn up. Team Psila. Team Psila. A lot of people, because those two uh, consonants come together, they think it's Team Psila. It makes it the M. That's how I spelt my daughter's name, Timpsila, T-I-M-P-S-I-L-A. Only to make it a little bit different from the original. But Timpsila, Pashtunkala, Papa. That's what my grandma used to make all the time. That's why they make all these fancy turkey, big turkey dinners, and I used to just eat her dried corn soup and a fry bread and her wojapi. That's the other one. Or cranberry waskiyajapi or wajapi. Wakalyapi. You can say wakal ya pi, which is something you boil, or you can say peju. Tasapa. They call it Pejuta Sapa because it was a mystery to the Lakota people when we got coffee. Because every time you drink coffee, all of a sudden you're wide awake and you're hypered up and you're moving and and uh, it gets you moving, you know. So they called it a medicine, black medicine. <laughs> 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 yeah, and it was something that they all liked, so everybody got addicted to it, you know. And that was the reason why, because it made you feel different, you know. You had a reaction to it. Well, api is all, uh, I, I, um, I went and I told him, I said, I'm only going to, I'm going to use it, say wakalapi. Wakalapi, because that's what everybody says, you know. <laughs> Instead of saying wakalapi, they say wakalapi. So, so I said, that's one of those, that neologism where you make up a word for it, and then and it, everybody accepts it, so you use it as an original word. So wakalapi. I said, I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to use it wakalapi when I teach it. 
I still wrote it Wakalapi, Wakaliapi. Okay. Wahpe. Wahpe. Kaliapi. Wahpe is leaves. Leaves. It leaves off of, um, you know, a plant. That's all it means. Leaves. Salt. Mini. School. Yeah. It's strange because skuya is sweet and then mini is uh, water. But at the time, skuya probably, because it had a different sound in it, because it was later, way later on, that we, they discovered sugar and then they had to make a name for that. So in the meantime, it had a, a, sa a taste to it that the people liked, you know. Because it was on, on one of those, uh, when people used to trade long time ago, the Lakota people, when they lived that nomadic lifestyle, they went around and traded all kinds of stuff that different people had, like the tobacco. Same with the miniskuya, because those guys used to s use um, chanshasha, the red willow, to make tobacco with. And then somehow along the out east, somebody had the real tobacco and they started exchanging and trading. And that's how we ended up with the, the chile. Sugar. Cha humpy. Cha humpy. It's um it's because of the sugar cane. Another thing that came along with the trading, chahampi, the sugar, the juice of the sugar, you suck on it and you get the juice out of it, or you can boil it and use the juice and make sugar out of it. Pepper. It's yamnu mnu mnu happy. Uh, B. That's pepper. Today they even ask me about Tabasco sauce and oh, they ask me all kinds of crazy questions. Tabasco sauce is um, anything that's hot and bitter. It's called pcha. Pcha. And it relates to how your throat feels when you eat something hot. Drink something hot. Remember it stays in your throat. Pcha. Lila pcha, you know, something that's hot and bitter. But pepper is yamanumanu happy. These are most of the stuff that we will have at dinner tables. Thanksgiving. From here to Thanksgiving, it's also the same kind of meals we have during um, Christmas. So you can learn to use... Um, Use words, but I'm gonna show you next. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to um, how to use uh, how to make sentences, how to make sentences out of it, and and it and it gets real simple because I just want you to converse. I want you to converse, ask and respond, ask and respond. You know, and I'm trying to make it as simple as possible because if I make it hard into a conversation I'll lose you guys and it'll be hard to hard to say and remember I'm gonna use some of the stuff that I already taught you before like conjugations or numbers or dates or I don't know whatever comes up whatever pops up in my mind but I'm gonna stay on task we're gonna stay on a Thanksgiving dinner
Okay, that's the introduction. How Hankashi Ampetu Topaki Wopila Un Wagalekshun Num Wa Uyu Tapikte Ohan Shich Eshe Mithati Waheki Ob Unkupikte Ob Wol Unkupikte Okay We already had kinship terms What is Ampetu Topa? Okay, Wopila is Thanksgiving, right? Turkey. To eat. I said we are going to eat the main word. Utah is the word. Eat. Rest our explanations. Yes, or okay. <laughs> agreement, a term of agreement. Female to male cousin. This one is male to female cousin. Conjugation. Mitratiwahe is family. My family. If I said ni, nitratiwahe ki, then that's your family. Or he tiwahe, that's their family. But it's me, my family. This is eat right here. Eat. All the rest is adjectives. Okay? And here's the table. Wagalekshu Makuo or Wagalekshu Makue. It's give, give. Okay. Here's another one. These are the those, these are the main root words I want you to learn how to use. Wagalekshu huma kya yo. I better be better off using yo. Wagalekshu huma kya yo. Or yeah. Wagalekshu hima kiayo. Pass me or give me the turkey. 
Below pat humpy humor kya ye. Below pat humpy humor kya yo. It's the same as Many skuya huma kia yo. Many skuya huma kia ye. We are many skuya huya. A lot of the men call their wives we are. They can call it. We chasha many skuya huya. That's just all the stuff, all the terms I've been teaching you guys. We're almost at the end. We got, what, two more classes to go? Something like that, huh? I think two or three more classes to go. We're almost at the end. <laughs>